Okay, this is James P. Madonna of uh, Mega Life 21 and the Facebook group Everything is Food. I'm going to make my first batch of uh, whole grain sourdough pumpkin pancakes for 2014. Okay, and uh, it's in here. I made it last night. It's always good to let it ferment a little for the sourdough starter to really um, establish its rich flavor. All right, you light the stove. You don't need to put the flame on medium or high for cast iron. And then take my uh, my right rectangular cast iron griddle. All right, put that in place and let it preheat. It's very important that the cast iron griddle, if you happen to have one. Uh, is um, hot enough. The same thing with waffle irons. You have to have a, a very hot surface in order to make uh, that nice golden brown pancakes with, with the ideal texture. Same thing with waffles. In order to get that nice brown color it must be hot enough. So I'm going to let the pan get hot. Um, I'm going to do this video in segments. Now, the batter. The um, sourdough pumpkin pancake batter. Uh, this was mixed in my Hitachi bread machine. Now, you could use uh, a Vitamix. You can use a Ninja. Um, I find it, you know, wh that wh why knock yourself out mixing it by hand when the machine can do it better, and it'll be easier on you. So I use the uh, the mixing cycle of the uh, the bread machine, but you know, of course, I wish I had a ninja. That's really eventually what I will get. Uh, what I did is you always put the liquid in first, liquid parts of the recipe. So, um, I put in um, four cups, no, actually, um, I put in four cups of milk, um, four eggs, eight tablespoons of oil, I would use good cold pressed oil, whatever you happen to have. Uh, myself, I had extra virgin olive oil. So I, I put the um, eight tablespoons of that. Uh, a heaping teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. I would say about a half a cup of sourdough starter. Uh, cinnamon, powdered cinnamon, and six cups of the um, whole wheat flour. The um, I use the King Arthur brand of whole wheat flour, or you could use King Arthur's pastry flour, or you can use King Arthur's uh, white whole wheat, which is excellent. And then. Uh, Mix that up with the machine until smooth. Okay, now I'm going to test the cast iron griddle to see if it's hot by splashing water on it. Yep, it's hot alright. It's hot. Um,
Now I'll put a little oil. Not much, because when it's hot, it will spread. In this case, it's what I have, extra virgin olive oil. You could use other oils. You could use peanut oil, which is great. It has a high um, burning threshold. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't, it takes very high temperatures before it burns. Great for stir frying. And uh, some of it gets in the moat, but just spread it around. All right, now we got some. Um, I'm using a wooden um, ladle because you don't want to use metal, anything metallic with sourdough starter. It kills the yeast. All right. All right. First, I'm going to make silver dollar pancakes for someone in the house, uh, then I will of course make super jumbo pancakes for myself. Now, I could have used, I should, I could have used a larger plastic ladle, all right, but I didn't bother to look for it. Which I really should, but I like using wooden spoons. Okay. We're going to let that cook on one side and then we'll test it. Okay, what you want to look for are the um, dryness around the edges with the little tiny pinhole bubbles. Then you want to check your pancake. Oh, pour that one in time. All right, they're well done. Not burnt yet, but they're well done. Now I have this pan on. Uh, I had it on <clears throat> an upper low flame. I had to put it on very very low. This is how efficient the cast iron is with um, holding heat evenly distributed all right so these pancakes will be done in no time and then uh, I could probably get actually I could probably get the third silver dollar in there if you want to call them silver dollars yeah I'm using this now I got tired of the wooden ladle all right So this batch will be done in no time. Sourdough whole wheat pumpkin pancakes. Okay, let me check. Let me check this. All right, it's not bad. I love cast iron. I mean, a lot of people don't use cast iron because honestly they're probably too lazy to lift it it's heavy but it'll last for generations if you take care of it now the thing with cast iron is the secret to cast iron okay you don't have to season it like the instructions tell you because as you use the cast iron and put oil on it or uh, bacon or sausage, the, the, the fats of all kinds will darken the cast iron pot with usage. So it automatically seasons itself and the darker it gets the better it cooks, the more non-stick it becomes. 
Um, but the important thing is in the drying process. Never towel dry a cast iron pan because any moisture that remains on the cast iron will make it rusty. So what you want to do is flame dry it. You know, never scrub it with a steel wool or use soap. You know, just like brush off the debris and um, brush off the debris and then turn the flame on the stove as high as possible or the electric um, stove, you know, put it on very high and, I'll, and then place the, the wet pan on the flame and allow it to flame dry. Okay, um, I could have allowed this to get darker but considering the fact that the others are kind of well done, I decided to, you know, to flip it over. Now, uh, my pancakes, of course, are going to be much larger. My uh, Paul Bunyan style flapjacks. All right. And uh, then that's it, you know, I'm put butter on it or, or uh, if you can't have butter you can use that uh, smart bead or I can't believe it's not butter or whatever you brand you choose to use. Personally, I like real natural uh, maple syrup, uh, but this time I'm using light uh, pancake syrup. With uh, re with real butter, the these are going to have the uh, um, the margarine without the trans fat. You know, like I can't believe it's not butter. One of those brands, because it's for a patient. Uh, I'm just I'm going to use butter and light syrup. So uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, whole wheat sourdough pump pumpkin pancake batter made from scratch all right made from scratch and uh, in this case mixed by my uh, Hitachi bread machine which I love and uh, and that's it I'm gonna make a big stack of this you can pat it down if you want uh, oh, not yet now you may have to turn the griddle up a little. In this case, I'm going to turn it up a little higher on both sides because it, you know we're, it's fitting over two jets, which is great. Now, if you want, what you can do is you can leave only one jet on if you're by yourself. If you're cooking alone, you can leave one jet on. And you could use the back side of the griddle as like a, a warmer to keep things warm. You could stack the pancakes uh, or sausages or bacon, scrapple, you know, uh, what if you're making eggs and, and, and breakfast uh, sausage or whatever, bacon, you can put it towards the back and use it as a warm-up, like a warmer tray or something, a hot plate, you know, just keep it warm and just have the jet on, on um, on the front, okay, um, or vice versa, and uh, this works out also. Uh, of course, you can cook hamburgers on this, whatever you like. So this one is getting the pinholes. Very gently check it out. Yes, it is ready to turn. bad. Alright, so there you have it. My first uh, pumpkin sourdough pancakes for 2014. This is James P. Madonna saying take care, eat healthy, uh, and uh, greetings to my ever-growing large food and drink group called 
Everything is food on Facebook. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.